to Colorado now, where the governor there has dramatically shortened the prison sentence for a man named Rogel Aguilera Mederos. He is the truck driver who was involved in the 2019 crash on Interstate 70. You'll remember that crash killed four people. NBC6 reporter Yvette Lewis joins us now from Hialeah with an exclusive interview. Hi there, good morning. Well, we spoke to Roger Aguilera Mederos last night from prison. He says that his fight is not yet over, but he is very grateful to every person that spoke up on his behalf. The district attorney had said Monday that she would seek a sentence of 20 to 30 years at next month hearing. But this new development changed everything. Colorado Governor Jared Polis on Thursday shortened the sentence to 10 years, drastically reducing his original 110-year term that drew outrage. Around 5 million people signed an online petition seeking clemency for Aguilera Mederos, who was convicted of vehicular homicide and other charges in the explosive 2019 piled up that killed four people and injured six. I know the case is not over. For now, I'm still facing violence charges. We are also going to work to have those violence charges dropped because assault means when someone has done something on purpose. Aguilera Mederos testified that the brakes on his truck failed the day of the accident, setting off a chain reaction crash and a fireball that consumed vehicles and melted parts of the highway. Prosecutors argued that Aguilera Mederos could have used a runway ramp alongside the interstate that is designed to safely stop vehicles that have lost their brakes. And the governor said this case would hopefully spur a discussion on sentencing laws, but any future changes would not help Aguilera Mederos. In Hialeah, Yvette Lewis, NBC6 News.